For most of us, these are unprecedented times. The spread of the coronavirus and the threat of contracting COVID-19 have disrupted our normal patterns of life and have created a level of uncertainty few of us have ever experienced. These uncertainty can lead to anxiety, fear, and in some instances, even panic. As believers in Christ, we are privileged to walk through challenges like these with a deep and abiding conviction that Jesus walks with us. He knows our fears. He listens to our prayers. He cares about us. And these convictions give us the freedom to cry out to Him honestly and passionately. They urge us to bring our requests to Him with thanksgiving and to find in Him a peace that surpasses all understanding. Let's resolve to encourage one another and support one another through prayer. Let us be aware of how those close to us are experiencing the uncertainty of these days and resolve to step toward them with words of compassion and acts of generosity. If there were ever a time when genuine generosity will speak loudly to the redemption that is ours in Christ, now is the time. As a ministry, we continue to carefully monitor the rapidly changing landscape of information, response, and recommendations related to the coronavirus. We are resolved to utilize knowledge and reliable resources, including governmental agencies, scientific and research-based studies, medical professionals, and fellow educators based on what we have learned. We believe that the best course of action is to join schools, churches, businesses, in our broader community in practices designed to flatten the curve of the pandemic. These include appropriate and recommended social distances in order to limit exposure to and spread of COVID-19. The CDC recommends canceling events with more than 10 people for the next eight weeks throughout the U.S. Here is what that means for Restoration Christian Fellowship. As it relates to our worship experience, Effective this Sunday, March 22nd, we will have one live service at 9 a.m. This service will be restricted to a maximum of 10 designated individuals. The worship experience will be streamed at 9 and 11 a.m. on every available platform. The RCF Network, RCF website, RCF app, Facebook, and YouTube. We encourage you to be as creative as you join us weekly for our online service. Don't watch in bed with your phone on your lap. Get out of bed and gather your family around your smart television. Turn the stereo on and enjoy the worship experience with your entire family just as if you're actually in service with us. Say amen from your living room. Stand up and raise your hand. Worship with us. Do this as a family. Most importantly, use this as an evangelistic opportunity by inviting others to join in by creating a watch party then debrief with your friends and encourage them to join you again next week here's what's going to happen wednesday effective immediately we are canceling our wednesday bible study and moving that meeting to a community group format on a zoom platform this means we will give our members the option to join a community group which will be led by one of our more than qualified elders. Groups will meet weekly through Zoom to discuss Sunday's message, which will be converted to a Bible study format and distributed weekly to the entire congregation. These messages can be used for personal devotion, personal study time, and even for group discussion. Make sure you join a group. All children, youth, and young adult ministries will also transition to meeting through Zoom. We will have some exciting programming for your children, so stay tuned for that. All ministry groups will also be meeting through Zoom. Our 24-7 prayer groups will be in force praying for you and for this crisis. If you have not already joined a prayer cell, join one and become a part of the movement or the prayer movement that God is having at Restoration Christian Fellowship. In summary, our staff and leadership will be meeting weekly to remain updated on the state of affairs. I will endeavor to communicate weekly to continue to encourage you and to keep you updated on the happenings at RCF. During this crisis, here's what's happening. I will be preaching from the book of 1 Kings 17 through 19 on an Elijah generation. Read ahead and be prepared for Sunday's message. Worship with us. So see you online on one of our many streaming platforms. Be encouraged, keep the faith, and remember, 
God is always in control. Love you.